the Montana Post started, I think, in July 1864. It was uh, uh, after over a year after the uh, first people had come to Virginia City. After the uh, first couple of issues, the uh, Montana Post, the first newspaper, was purchased by uh, D.W. Tilton. Uh, Mr. Tilton uh, recognized the talents of a certain Englishman that was in Montana. Uh, Mr. Dimsdale. Dimsdale uh, had uh, uh, been raised by a rather uh, affluent uh, family in, uh, in England. His family were hardware merchants or iron mongers as they called them there. Uh, Dimsdale had gone to rugby in Oxford and had a fine education and he was fascinated by the, old, by the Wild West and he wanted to come out here and see it, so he made the trip to the United States and got himself clear across the country and found himself here in the fall of 1863, just when the vigilante activity was beginning to take effect and when the road agents were still uh, operating, I guess you might say. Tilton was uh, smart enough to have hired uh, Dimsdale to be the uh, editor of the Montana Post. Dimsdale could show off all the big words he knew and uh, uh, get paid for it. And this playbill was set up by me. This is the last ones that we printed, which is 2007. And uh, that was the year before I retired. Roll it back out, take out the printed copy, and then hand it to somebody to lay out, or if you were doing it all alone, you'd have to take it yourself and lay it out. This is called a, a Chandler and Price press, or a Clapper style press, and it's from about the age of the Montana Post. The date of this press is the 1850s. We sent in and got the number to our Hohen Company, which is still in business, and found out who was the original owner. But it, it was old and used by the time it came here to the Montana Post. Now the best Mark Twain artifact is this. It's going to be hard to get a picture of. Uh, this thing right here is the last issue of the Territorial Enterprise, still set up on the stone. And this is called the stone. This is a, a piece of marble on a, in a wooden frame. And the reason it's used in the newspaper business is because it's perfectly flat. And you can set type on it, and the type will all be the same height. This stone came from the Territorial Enterprise in Virginia City, Nevada, so Mark Twain very likely used this stone. And on this spot, because it's the only good spot in the room to put the stone to set type, Dimsdale probably stood here and, and set his type for his Vigilantes of Montana. And so I might have stood on the same spot where Dimsdale set type for the Vigilantes of Montana, and set type on the stone that was used by Mark Twain. <laughs>